Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Dungeons of Dreadmore. Well, we ran up against Lord Dreadmore last run and uh, died horribly. Pretty bad. Alright, we're going to go ahead and stick with no time to grind. No rumble dugogs, dugogods gods for me, thanks. Uh, for this one, I want to try out where to go curse. I think that should be fun. I think Demonologist could be good, and... Um, it's a Demonologist plus something. We're saying plus vegan. I'm not sure that's a good idea, though. Magical Law could be fun. Uh, let's see. So we don't want to go up and melee against Lord Dreadmore. We definitely want to, like, shield up. I think shield and maybe thrown weapons could help out. Could go unarmored, then we just do multiple shields. That could be good. And then to kind of even things out, like, we probably need tinkering at the very least to help us uh, make sure we don't uh, have to depend on Krong for all of our problems. But a magical law might not be the best... I don't know. The, the Confiscate Evans is pretty good. Uh, if we're going to go... I mean, this is basically good for basically just keeping ourselves fine. Uh, the Where to Go, though, combined might not work out. Maybe no Demonologist, maybe do something else. Uh, Vampirism, probably not going to cut it. That's going to be pretty hard. We're gonna go Throne Weapons. Tinkering does... Oh, you know what? Maybe Smithing plus Tinkering? Because doesn't uh, doesn't Tinkering do Bolts and Smithing does a Throne? That kind of sounds familiar. Then we went Smithing instead of Tinkering. I mean, both is pretty good. Thing is, that's a lot of... That's a lot of material to keep on hand. Uh, we could go Rogue's... Uh, sorry, not Rogue Scientist. Clockwork Knight instead of uh, Diggle. So, you know, it kind of goes against the whole name of this thing. Emomancy is pretty good. Big Game Hunter could work out. You know what's really good, though, is Tinkering and Piracy. Because then you have the... Uh... Or, sorry, not Tinkering and Piracy. I mean, Piracy is good anyway. A Were Diggle Pirate Smith. Unarmored. Throwing weapons. Shield up. Maybe Magical Law is not the right thing to do. Maybe instead. Tourist probably isn't it. Do wielding definitely isn't it. And all the shields up. Dodging is really not going to cut it. We, we have not had a good chance with dodging. Preserve her rage could be interesting. Berserker with Weardiggle and Unarmored could be really good, really. We have no magic in here at all. This is basically just a warrior build. A slight distance warrior build, but still just a warrior build. We're going to do warrior build. We might do Viking. Instead of what? Maybe instead of smithing. If we're going to go Unarmored, the only thing we want smithing for is thrown weapons. And maybe the shields. I mean, if we could do, like, hmm, we can shut down Lord Dreadmore somehow. And we should always be thinking about how we're going to shut down Lord Dreadmore. Maybe instead what we do is don't believe in magic. And that'll limit his effect on us. And so then instead of piracy, I mean, assassination is really good. But then we can go into melee and destroy him. Possibility. Um, let's see. Warlockery is pretty good. Rogue Scientist is nice, but Warlockery might be more in the vein of what we need here. Okay, we'll try this. Tell this guess. Part of the universe, who are we naming this run after? Part of the universe has randomly selected Crimson Mist. Crimson Mist, welcome. Thank you for volunteering your name. Well, you know, as you do. Uh, and thank you for this subscription on YouTube. I do appreciate it. All right, so it's been a while since we've been a were diggle. Done it before. Passant touch, of course, is pretty bad. Must be a rational explanation. Okay, resistance to magic. This is the kind of stuff that we want. That's really what the paranormal investigator is good at, is kind of just 
ignoring magic. Crossbow straight off is great. We have unarmored, so we can basically just go in and punch things. We're not a vegan. So, uh, don't need to worry about that. We do not have any crafting skills, right? Yeah, no crafting skills. So, we can just go in and murder. I'm gonna miss burglary. That was great to have on the last run, but, you know, 50... A lockpick is a little crazy. So, first thing we'll probably do is upgrade our unarmored skill to make sure that we don't get totally destroyed. A little early for a shop, don't you think? That's a lousy shop anyway. It's a terrible shop. You should feel bad. Here, take this. Well, at least we got a shop early. It's something. It'd be really funny we can't hurt Lord Dreadmore by punching him. Horrible, great, funny one of those. Uh, make a wish pull the lever, except there is no lever. Oh, there it is. Okay. So our main problem is going to be uh, making sure we don't take all the hits. Like, the uh, the monster zoos are going to be more dangerous now because, well, you know, we don't have anybody to fight for us. And, like, half of them will be ignoring us. Everybody will be trying to kill us. On the upside, that makes things pretty simple. Uh, let's see. All right, we need a shield at some point. We need two shields. Okay, first things first is unarmored. Let's get that throwing buffalo technique. We need some thrown weapons too at some point, but that'll come in later. Uh, seven dodge versus one dodge. I'll take the seven. Thanks. Not gonna be able to disable traps. Hopefully that won't matter. As long as we can see them. Now, granted, I did not take a pick up perception. Hopefully we'll be able to see them before, you know, we die. Uh, so this is basically a warrior belt. Okay, speaking of things I didn't see before I died. Over here, Diggle. It'd be also kind of funny to die in the first five minutes of a run, but didn't happen this time. We're past the five minute mark, so there. Uh, don't need that. Appreciate the thought, though. Oh, don't, uh, don't pause. Gotta be careful of any traps. I mean, once we get good armor, we're gonna be great. We're gonna be an unstoppable force of madness. The trick is getting there. Unarmed runs, I mean, we don't start with a weapon anyway. Like, unless you, like, pick a weapon skill. So... Um, we're kind of at an advantage that way, but I'm gonna kick down every door we see is gonna be a problem. Anything to upgrade our burliness or might is gonna be really good. Not dying to a falling stone trap would be good too. Blackjack's gonna help us out because it'll make sure the enemies don't attack us for at least a turn. Of course, it is a random proc, but hey man, any little bit that helps. I don't step any traps so we can avoid it. Right, we have no way of getting these things on the middle, I don't think. Uh, throwing buffalo technique. Is a knockback, maybe? No. If we next to target, that's not going to really cut it. Okay. Uh, side quest. Sure thing, let's do it. I'm not sure. Bit no more. The Forgotten Dragons must be defeated and the artifact Zonklum the Eater books must be used on the Little Shrine. Do we know what the Little Shrine is? I don't think we do. Alright, well, you know, wherever that thing is, I'll be sure to do the thing you said to do. Try to do that at, a, at, a, at work, you know? That probably won't work. I'll try to do the thing you said to do. Are you actually paying attention? Eh. And you probably shouldn't say eh to your boss. Unless you've got like a really, really friendly relationship. But even then. Like you might think you have a friendly relationship with your boss. But in actuality, like your boss is your boss still. Like it's not going to be not going to be as friendly as you think it is. The Diggle's trapped there. And I think we just let him be there. Yeah, there we go. I mean, I have... 
I'm an okay relationship with my boss, but I would not. There's certain things you just don't joke about, like work ethic. I mean, it depends on your relationship. Everyone's different, right? Okay, steel bolt's great. Ooh, that hurts. I mean, some of these traps we're just not gonna see in time. However, leveling up is good. Um, I will go for... We don't actually have a shield yet. Hopefully we will. I'll go deck and cover right now. Sure, why not? Hoping for a shield. You know what? Just go down the stairs. We're not actually doing any good being here right now. And if I can't handle this at this point, then we're just doomed. Okay, random alchemical ingredients is not really going to be our bag. Okay, this might just murder me. Yeah, okay, that that could be bad. I can't seem to hurt him at all. Let's try the buffalo technique as soon as he gets up here. Try right, this works. Well, it hurt him. Can't tell you how much, though. There's a buffalo technique. Gotta wait for the cooldown. And we're basically boned. I might have gone downstairs too soon. Always a risk. Okay, we have food though, so I can eat lots of food. Oh, I didn't realize he was still alive. That's okay. We're alive. He isn't. Basically eating all the food. Okay, we're good. Where'd the boss go? He teleported. I don't think he would kill him. Grab the diggle egg and murder this guy. Where is the boss man? There's no way we killed him. I don't believe it. And we're doing great crits right now. We probably need to invest more in uh in unarmored to make sure we do more damage. It will increase our our might. Our burliness. Okay, can't get in there. That's fine. I probably don't want to anyway. Around the trap. The boss man had to go north then, right? Okay, the vegetables, no worry. Like, we can deal with the vegetables. Yeah, easy, no problems. Uh, so invest more in footwork. He had to go up here, right? Yeah, there he is. And him again. There we go. Uh, that's a fast level up, too. I will go for some customer. Just some more just basic knockdown drag out action. And hopefully at some point we get some shields. Stony Wand is not going to cut it. That's not what I mean at all. Baron Hats, like two defense. It's not bad. Alright, great. Go and pick up the keys. We have Magical Fist. That's how we're able to punch a ghost to re-death, I suppose. So the Mellow Shrine we found. Great. Now we just need the artifact we need to actually, you know, put in it. The recipes don't matter at all. Okay. Hey there, shot man. Do you have a shield? You do have a shield. And a Hachimachi, which is kind of tempting. All right. I'll give you a bunch of this garbage. I probably should not have sold that bolt, but you know what? Too late. Diamonds, sell the citrine. And sell most of this other stuff. I'm so used to not even paying attention to what's in the first row, because it's usually stuff that I want to keep. But in this case, that's what we're just going to chuck. We have thrown weapons. I want to keep those. The Diggle Nog seems like a bad idea. I can already turn into a Diggle. Worst case scenario, so let's not even worry about that. Okay, so shield. Hey man, three defense is three defense. Let's get that. There we go. Achimachi gets me more damage on the regular, so sure thing. Let's be able to afford all the stuff early. Okay. Oh, another shield. Great. I will totally take the mossy shield as well. Anything to up our defense. Look at that. 32 defense this early is actually really good. 
We'll do even better when we have, you know, decent armor. But for right now, I'm totally okay with this. Okay, where the devil is this artifact? Could be anywhere. Could be anywhere. Look at those blocks. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, nice crossbow. Don't mind if I do. Crafty crafts really not going to cut it. We don't have an amulet right now, so anything's better than nothing. Well, I guess unless it's cursed, right? If it's cursed, that would be bad. Uh, adventuring gloves versus adventuring gloves. Okay, just keep those off the side. Okay, the zombies are a little bit resistant to what I'm trying to throw down here. Pick up what we can. We can just sell almost everything, so... It's mostly just going to be in service of... Oh, wow. Uh, in service of getting us a better, like, armor and shields. Unfortunately, there's no uh, bottleneck here. Yeah, we're going to get a little bit surrounded. At some point, we can get the AoE melee attack, but... Okay, so far, so good. Let me just get rid of this guy here. Okay, then I can back up a little bit. Death is going to be a little bit of an issue, but that's okay. We took him out. Once I take care of the slime, we'll try to back up further. There. Oh, damn it. Slow the slime moved in. There we go. Okay. The AI worries me, especially a boss AI. Back up over here. Okay, this is our bottleneck. This is what we need. Only one at a time now. Okay, AI. Oh, that's bad. I'm doing virtually no damage. I'm hitting with two crushing at a time. I'm trying the special attack. Okay, no. So let's turn to a diggle. There we go. Okay, doing two damage still. Damn, this might just murder me. I don't know, he seems to be taking more damage from the Diggle form, though. He did. He did actually take more damage from the Diggle form. Alright, that's great. It worked out. Can I eat in this form? I totally can. Okay, great. Okay, so the Diggle form is actually worth it. Without that Diggle form, we would have been dead, for sure. Like, we were just not doing enough damage to that AI. It's funny we still take the advantage of the, uh, the items we're carrying. Even in wear diggle form. Okay. Back into full form again. Step out of the poison clouds. Mummies are dicks like that. There we go. Eat some foods. There we go. Full level up. That means we actually heal up. Okay, so then right here in takes flight is the AoE. For these guys to come through the poison. All right, how many months? Seventy-three monsters left. We're gonna level up for sure again. That's for damn sure. The trick is there's no other AIs like I can see in here. There is a golem. I mean, stepping up here is is dangerous. We do have thrown weapons. We can probably do something with that. Right now, I'm not too worried yet. I'll be worried soon enough. Don't you worry. I'll be concerned for my life very, very soon. Somehow, we have full health. Not anymore, because I cursed it. But we had full health. I'm very confused how that worked out. And the shields are helping, for sure. What's this do? Gives us 10 additional defense. That's pretty nice. Wait for it. I mean, they're only coming around me from one direction for some reason. I don't know why. But it's only the one directly east of me for some reason. Nobody else seems to want to move. There we go. Okay. The boss golem worries me a bit. And it looks like he damn well should. So do our deal again. Yeah, because he's taking more damage from me than where to go for him for sure. There we go. He's out. Nice. 
Okay, what about the zombies? Eh, a little bit more damage. Not by much, unfortunately. Eh, this might not go as well as I'd like. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Back to that bottleneck. Again, one at a time is just so, so useful. And we're down to 43, that's good. The enraged jiggles are dangerous, but not terribly so. Yeah, the blackjack's gonna help us. I mean, the uh, the assassination tree is gonna help us out, but it's only gonna help us out if you know we invest in it. We've not done yet because it's still very very early. I did jump a floor. Like I probably shouldn't have come down here yet. It's just I really wanted to. I mean, we have this is a good deal for us because we got a shield. I figured it was gonna work out. And we still have like near full health right now. It's only the boss guys who actually, the mini bosses who actually give us trouble. This might be alright. So far, so good. We're down to 28 now. Taking out the mummies in a single blow this early is really nice. Okay, slime just go chunk. No worries. Don't let the mummies actually cast any magic at me, and we're good. We're doing one hit KOs right now. Which means we're well overpowered for this level. I'm gonna keep on going with an armored strike. Because it's gonna be it's gonna add more damage to us, and that's what we need right now. Like we're doing 20 uh, damage on on average anyway. The white disappearing could be a problem though. That might mean we don't get the reward here for the Monster Zoo. Oh, it was so close. That guy was so close to being dead. Uh, does a critical hit and he took no damage from it. Not exactly sure how that works. Okay, you're out. Then the slime. There's just three monsters left. Okay, we came close a couple of times to, you know, eating it. We're fine. I think we lost a white. I think a white went off somewhere. It's sort of tell where. Yeah, um, can be through here. Nope, that's side quest land, which isn't a bad idea, but we're already on a side quest, so. I don't want to pick up another one just now. There he is. That wasn't it. There's no way it was a diggle, was it? It was not the diggle. Weapons don't matter to me, it's basically just, you know, theory crafting. Uh, the white could have moved up, I guess, it's possible. That was not it. I have no idea where this white went. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Um, it's fine, though. We either go back or just explore this. I guess we just explore this. Okay, gold galore. I like it. Dark power cylinder. I mean, if I was tinkering, that'd be great for me right now, but it's not. Uh, three. Now, remember, to have a battery kite shield, so it's fine. Wrong, buddy, pal. Do this for me. He's pleased by us. He's given us some additional protection. Some blasting protection, some piercing protection. I like that. Thank you. I mean, I don't think the blasting is going to be useful just yet, but you never know. This might be... If it is a Dwarven Express, but it's hard to tell how useful it's going to be. Because, you know, they love giving us melee weapons. They do occasionally give us other things than weapons, but it's very rare. It's a pity mechanism. That's actually maybe better. The thing I'd rather have the experience. I have no idea where this freaking monster zoo guy went. He couldn't have gone this far, right? Come on, take out you. Get out of the poison clouds. Taking a few hits, it's fine. I think the uh, whites are causing some trouble here. There. I don't remember also, as part of the unarmored, we do have counter chance. I know it's only 13%, but that's still pretty good. Come on, white, don't run away from me. 
Uh, that seemed bad, but we managed to get out of it. Where of you? I mean, this could... There any one of these whites could be the Machizu white? Because they teleport so freaking often. Thawker drill block could be good. I don't think there's any way for us to get inside that room. Not like we can bash down the door. Uh, we could theoretically push it, maybe? We did push it. Hold on, wait for the four. Can I do that again, though? Because the sarcophagus is in the way. That might not work. Yeah, I can't push it any further. Okay, if it didn't have the... Yeah, if it didn't have the sarcophagus right there, we'd totally be able to do it. Okay, death doesn't even pose a problem to us, really. There we go. White down. I and mean, if we just defeat everything on the floor, you know, eventually we'll kill the white. Thing is, respawns make that really hard to track. Over oh, there. Could just jump downstairs again. Kind of risky. Don't really feel like we're up to snuff just yet. We have leveled up a couple times, though. Might be okay. Can I just attack? I just want to attack this guy right here. There we go. Kept on pressing above him like that was going to work out. We also haven't done the quest yet, so we shouldn't probably shouldn't do the floor until we finish our quest. We have an artifact somewhere around here we need to find. Oh, we're not inside of a chest, though. Open this up. Where are we at? Uh, it's a Vardy. Sometimes the quest item will use uh, icons for food or something. Rare, but it does happen. Okay, so we bash open a door, like, incorrectly. I think we just, it just smashes. You just can never close it again. Okay, great. You're gonna die. Traffic cone's not all that helpful, but sure. Well, okay, so the artifact's not here. It could be past... The uh, monster zoo on the other side. Oh, you know what? That's probably where that's probably where the white went. If the white went anywhere. There's probably I didn't even realize there was a door that goes south from there. That's got to be it, right? Or it's right here. I do have thrown weapons. I suppose I should use it. Oh, there we go. That better than we currently have. That is giving us some necromantic protection. This gives us defense and transmogrification protection. You know what? That's probably better. Okay. So the white must have teleported back down. Or back over back into that room, rather. Fantastic. I mean, two hit KO is almost as good. One laser, pretty good. I suppose we should go to the shop. Oh, not that way. Wrap around. And sell off everything but the Wand of Laser, I guess. Um, everything else? Well, I guess we have some bolts. But we've got a good chunk of stuff we just want to just drop, I guess. Okay, so here we are. Let's see. Get rid of all the weapons. We don't need those. The crappy shields can go away. The crossbow bolts we want to keep. Go around here. Pills are not helpful. Bread's not helpful. Rog's not helpful. Or sewer brew, whatever that is. And these food items. Well, I guess the eggs might be helpful. Okay, give me the uh, the stony wand in there. Bolts in there. Just make sure nothing else takes up valuable space. Berry water might be helpful in there. Alright. On almost empty inventory. That almost never happens. I mean, crafting is nice, but being able to walk through a dungeon without having to worry about managing your inventory is also, like, another layer of nice. Easy. No problems. It's funny it says haywire, so I must be doing magic damage. Because usually it's a critical hit. So being unarmored must be... I mean, I guess when you're a monk in D&D, 
At some point, the game just says, you know what? Everyone who has a magic weapon in this level, that means your hands are magic weapons. I think that's what they're trying to do for us here as well. So I wonder if, like, sagacity would actually increase the amount of damage we do. Huh. That's a thought. If it's actually magical power, we have this haywire. Boosting sagacity might actually do it. Hmm. So, like, instead of going for shields, I wonder if maybe it'd be better to be going for orbs. Because orbs usually uh, increase your magical power. So looks like we're done with this floor. I don't see another passageway. Alright, uh, downstairs is over here. Bring Tox the Blobbies, no big. Yeah, so we've seen a couple of orbs. It's a possibility. Ah, shit, the Octos are gonna be a problem. Yeah, I remember our vegan run? The Octos didn't even bother us, wasn't that nice. A Demons Galore. Thou art a troll whoring sheep bagger, is what they said. Hey, okay, that must have been the boss man. Oh, I didn't get the I didn't get the quest in the top on the top floor. I abandoned a quest. Oh, that was level one. Yeah, so we're on level three right now. Never mind. So we're already yeah, I didn't realize that it was on floor one. It's fine. Those are level up. I uh, might as well just finish up unarmored. Or unarmed, rather. I keep doing that. Totally different. It's funny, there's magical graffiti on the wall that no longer exists. But I guess it's magical graffiti, so that just checks out. Okay, pear wine, Merlot, sewer brew, all bad things. Hey, you're actually doing damage to the AI this time, though. That's good. Don't have to turn too aware to go for this. It's good to remember we have the option, though. In case something ends up being too powerful, we can make it work. Okay, do we go Nature Reorb? Well, that doesn't actually have any sagacity up, so no, I don't think so. Uh, these guys are totally going to see us. Alright. Makeshift Bomb could be good. Yeah, if we use it early. Like, it later on, it's barely going to do any damage to anything ever. Rough Silver Shield, is that better? It does have some magic reflection in it. Three defense, so it's probably better than the Kite Shield we have. Yeah, let's do that. Yep. Now, what do lovers do? I don't know. We're going to press them anyway. Okay, so if the room was filled with bad guys, wouldn't that have been nice to know? A little bit late now. I'm not wearing shoes anyway, so sure, why not? Some clogs. Hey, we can actually eat, like, the giant sandwiches now. As opposed to the previous run, where we didn't know if that was actually vegan. Good counters. That was less good of a counter. Octo in there. Yeah, the Octos are going to be a problem. The Octos are only on this floor, though, right? No, I think they're on the next floor, too. Aren't they on three and four? That sounds vaguely familiar, actually. Okay, the other guy's going to run for it. We have no way to stop him. Ray Heron takes flight. Yeah, area attack. That's not really going to work out for me. Take the eggs, because we might be able to do something with those. Right now, no, because we don't have a press. But, you know, eventually, we might actually remember to keep a press longer than 15 seconds. Okay, murderize you. Great, that was easy. That's a tinker apart. And another kite shield. They love giving us kite shields early on. Hopefully that continues. We get, like, a magnetronic shield. That'd be fantastic. Or a mirror shield. Two mirror shields would actually help me out a lot. That would probably pretty much negate Lord Dreadmore, plus the, the Paranormal Investigator tree, which we're probably going to go into next. 
being able to stop any magic users from, you know, casting magic would be great. Oh, Pumpkin Man. Visible or not, though, he's not going to be too hard to take down. There we go. The multiple shields and the maxed out on armor tree is pretty good. I wonder if I should have invested more in dodging. Well, no, we're actually doing pretty good on defense. We've got a good block chance right now. 41 is decent. When we get a better shield, we'll do even better. Nice. All right, so let's go for... And we're shielded up now. Defensive bash isn't great. Tortoise mover happens automatically, right? No, it doesn't. Shield savant does. And we just go do that first. We try to work our defenses, and we'll work about on our offense. As long as we get it done properly before level 10, we should be all right. Well, there's the press I wanted. I guess I makes them almost now. Uh, let's actually do it right now. I don't want to forget. Uh, so have ingredients over here. There we go. Okay, three omelets, not so bad. Give me a sort, I think that goes to the top. It does not, it stays in the bottom, all right. I will try to remember then, but I don't promise anything. Uh, I can't push that aside, right? I don't have a way to do that. Uh, I don't see it. All right, it's fine. So if we did, um, we haven't actually done, I don't think have we done it ever. The, uh, the Realm of the Diggle Gods. It would give us more time to get more levels. Uh, which means we get more skills and whatnot for fighting Lord Genomore. It's worth thinking about, maybe. Like, we've never done it before. We're Here we are on the last, like, three runs. It could be a good experiment to see, like, maybe that actually helps us out. AIs no longer concern me. The Octos do, but they're not here right now. Which we're probably going to be coming up on a... on a monster zoo now I think about it. I should move to a more defensive position. A little late now. That's the boss man. Kicked him backwards. Did not stun him, though. But he's dead. Okay, so the Cybertronic Amulet's probably better than what I have right now. So it gives me some additional defense against these guys. Four defense, sure. Let's do it. Doing dodges right now, which really isn't working out for me. It's not enough in the way of dodges. Simple hatchet, sure. More stuff to throw. You ever try throwing a hatchet? It's not easy. Ah, oh, shit, that's right. That place is entirely trapped. Let's get away from that noise. Yeah, hatchets, I mean, they have to be very well balanced. Even if they are balanced, they're very tricky. Oh, I've seen some, like, professional... I don't know if they're actually, like, to get paid for it. I guess maybe they're not professionals. Uh, guys at pro level, maybe? People who go to the hatchet throwing... Um, not contest, bar? There are bars that do... I mean, there's bars that do darts. It seems like a really bad idea, too. For some reason, they do darts at bars, and some of these places do hatchet throwing at bars. And the people who do that, like, on the regular are amazing at it. And there's some people who will actually, like, hold it by the head, the head of the hatchet, and then just throw it that way. And I just don't understand how that gives them better control, but they say that's what they do it. So they could be just really bad, and I wouldn't know because I'm worse. So, like, they're better than I am at it, so I've got to take their word on it a little bit, at least. I mean, most of the time when you see a hatchet throwing, you see it done from the haft, but... Not usually from the head. Okay, it's much as your time. Shaz spot. And no... There's no, uh... No bottleneck for me here, is there? I don't see how we possibly 
Yeah. Uh, do 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 do. Maybe down. Not really. Not really. I mean, mostly if they just lose interest, that's great. But it doesn't give me a bottleneck. Okay. Well, then they leak out a little bit. Then we need to take care of the octos, especially the octo boss. The octo boss keeps on running away from me. He knows what's up. There we go. Okay, solid. So close to a one-hit KO on that freaking Jin. There we go. Getting there. And um, we have enough shields. Nah, I don't know if it's actually gonna work out. I have defensive bash, but I don't have shields up or anything. Uh, we could die here. We're already just below half right now. It's not pretty. So we can kill the Crustanoids. One thing that did bother me about the vegan run is just not being able to kill the, the freaking animals. Sango Bob has got to go. Okay, we have a little bit of breathing room. Let's take the time, eat a sandwich. Anything to increase our regen chances here. I am standing in acid. That is not a great thing. Can't really move all that well. There we go. It's the freaking clones, man. They keep on dropping acid everywhere. Am I doomed? I feel doomed. We're down to 69 monsters. That's a freaking huge monster zoo. Okay. Just let them get murdered. I mean, if they trickle in because they can see me, I'm okay with that. It's better than me going to them. At some point, I'm going to have to, though. Actually, maybe we're not doomed. Might be a little doomed. The sheer number of guys here is amazing. I feel like, um... Oh, we probably shouldn't say her name because it is spoilers. Uh, the hero of Kill Bill. Protagonist, I guess, would be more accurate. She's not really a hero. You know, when she's going up against the... The massive, massive, massive army. Uh, the, uh, the 88. But there's way more than 88, or way less, depending on... Actually, I don't think... Uh, th th there must have been somebody who counted. They're not exactly 88. There we go. Level up. Nice. I will take... I mean, the Poison Blade can be okay. We haven't never actually used it, though. We can turn Wear Diggle. That might actually help us out. Uh, other things that might help us out. Close Encounter is Telekinesis, basically. That could be okay. You know what? The Mana Melee could be good, too. That give us some additional protection. We have a little bit of time here to go and cast it. That'll help. It'll drain our magic a bit. But we're not using our magic for anything else, so why not? We need to get this Octo. And the Crustanoid. That's good. Or there's a freaking team of Octos up in the top right corner. I don't know what the hell we're going to do with that, about that. Okay. So far, so good. Murder who we can. Keep on going on. And we do have shield up happening here, which is great. Come on. There we go. The Octos haven't noticed it yet, which is basically our only saving grace right now. We can take care of everybody else first. Try to get this freaking clone before she escapes. There we go. There we go. AI down. Take out this clone. Oh, I freaking... No, I misclicked. Got in the middle of a freaking scrum here. Not what I wanted to do. Okay, well, we're not dead yet. I'm feeling really encouraged. Unless all the Octos see me all at once, aim their shots at me, I think we're okay. I mean, it could happen that way. Ah, oh, shit, they just saw me. 
Fortunately, I'm obstructed by the bunch of gins over here, so we might be all right. If I can keep them in their own way. Okay. We have a direct line after I kill the gin here. There. Okay. Got to go octo by octo here. Damn it. The freaking one off from lethal is just painful. There we go. There we go. One hit KOs. Okay, with the Oct most of the Octos dead, we're pretty likely to just win this now. And you, wreck you. All right. One hit KOs and all you guys is... Okay, almost all one hit KOs. It's pretty good. I think that's all the Octos, right? Most of our problems are over. Man of Mail took a lot of hits there. But it saved us. Boulder Squid's really good. I wonder if Boulder Squid would be good against yeah, Lord Dreadmore. Might have a chance to find out if I actually manage to save it for him. Where the hell is this last monster? Must have fucking teleported. It happens. Who the hell knows, though? Could have gone north. I didn't think any of them had the teleport ability. Maybe one of them walked away? Not that dude. And the clones can't teleport, so it's unlikely to be this guy. I'm so unclear what's happening here. We'll go ahead and open this up. Yeah, it's garbage. We're not tinkering, we're not crafting, it's basically garbage. Ah, oh, shit, more Octos. Kill the boss first, so the rest of them are scared. They're scared they're not attacking. Oh, so close. One fucking health. There. Okay, good. Maybe I'll take those guys out and one hit KO more often. That's a pretty cool potion. Take that. Where the devil? One last monster, man. Where'd he go? So they must have gone through the open door, right? None of them can teleport. That must have been it. The through here somewhere. It's gotta be this guy. Not that guy. Okay. Take the particular one. That's pretty good. Oh, these guys maybe? Maybe one of them? I doubt both of them. Oh, there we go. We got it. We got a Canadian shield for that. Uh, that is actually four defense. Which is better than the rough silver shield. There's no store around here. So let's just dump this stuff off in the corner here. Well, I do that. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Dungeons of Dreadmore. I'm Peace Universe here, Peace Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.